you and I we met a Tuesday morning Sun high in the sky and I felt free You did your best and I ignored the warnings and Fair enough, I guess I didn't want to see I wanted an adventure I wanted something new I gave you half my heart and figured There is just no trust in you Fool you, I will fool you, I will fool you Cause you're never gonna get the best of me I will use you, I will use you Until I am strong enough Until I can break these cups You and I, we tried so hard to make it You promised me that you would never leave Go get you socks Good morning everyone, how are you guys doing today? getting ready. Willa and I are going to go grocery shopping and go run some errands. We're going to bring you along with us. Just coming up here quickly to grab, oh, there they are, some socks for Willa. We had an electronic free morning and it was very nice, um, but I just turned the TV on for Cooper because he was running around like a crazy person and I had to start getting ready to leave for the store. Miss Willa's outfit today, this is from Zara, the sweater, I think it's still available. Those velour pants are from uh, Monica and Andy. They are a great little company. They have more high-end fashion for babies. And then these boots were five bucks from Target when there was like that extreme couponing deal a while back. I always post them to Instagram, so if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, you can uh, Every once in a while, I'll like throw them up into my stories anytime I find like a really good deal. I'm like the queen of finding amazing deals. I got her snow boots for $5, I got her shoes for $5. Like there are times where I find things for free too. Like it's amazing, it's really good. So yeah, I always try to like share the love and share them with you guys. All right, daddy's gonna be home soon. I think I have everything we need. Oh guys, look at this bag. <gasps> I got this because Willa and I are gonna be going to our first party together. We're going to a baby shower. So she has her party dress and she also has like these cute shoes. They're so cute. And I also have a cardigan coming uh, for her from Target, which I'll eventually show you guys. Hopefully it arrives today actually. Um, but I got her this little handbag and it's such a silly purchase, but it was $10 and I was like, I just wanna, this is like what I dreamed about when I got a little girl, is to buy her like a little pocketbook and stuff. So. Look at this little handbag. It's way too big for her. It's Cat and Jack, the kids. She's way too interested in her milk right now. But yeah, she's been like putting it on her shoulder and walking around with it. I think it's so adorable. Okay, we are in. Ready to go. Okay. Are you ready, miss? Are you ready? Are you ready? I am literally texting Dan to come bring my eyebrow pencil outside because my eyebrows are just gonna get more jacked up as the day goes by and I'm like, not about that life today. My hair looks too good for me to have a jacked up eyebrow. Here comes my hubby to the rescue with my eyebrow pencil. 
What if that was just a ploy and I had a positive pregnancy test sitting in there and I was like, surprise! That was messed up. Why? And you look around your whole makeup drawer for that. <laughs> you, would you could have just asked me to come outside. You would no, the test would be in my drawer, silly. You would oh. uh, you would literally ignore the test <laughs> and not see it and then bring I, me I my eyebrow pencil. Look at it and be like, no, that's not what she wants. And then no, keep going. literally, yeah. It would say pregnant too, and you'd be like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, yeah it must be an old one. All right. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Thank you. That's okay. We're gonna see Daddy soon. Right now, we're gonna go grocery shopping. You're all right. Don't. Oh God. Oh my goodness. This is going to be one of those days, huh? Jacked up eyebrow day. You know what? What is happening? You want dodo? I give up. It's going to have to do. I went into it caring, coming out of it not caring. Whatever. I need to get my eyebrows microbladed before I have a baby. You ready guys? Let's go to the store. You ready, Willa? I'm ready. Okay. Love you. That's mama's. What are you touching? Ah, oh, the cream. You got the creamies. Alright. Home goods. First stop. <laughs> what? The, the guy? You see the guy? Oh. Yeah, cutie. You wanna go see him later? We can go see him. He's saying hi to the reindeer. Huh? She's hilarious, this girl. So Christmas has fully taken over the store. Hey Noah, these are cute. Is this so cute? Aww. So I ended up doing really well in there. I am allotted $30 a week um, to spend on like whatever I want to in our budget. Not like by Dan, just in our budget. Um, and I spent $20 on a blanket for this week's $30 that I get. I'm very excited about it because I've been looking for a blanket that's like this one. You want what? I don't know what that means. You want Buzz Lightyear? You want Buzz? <laughs> Let me see if I can reach Buzz. Well, I can't reach Buzz. This ain't gonna happen. Okay, let's go. Mommy's gonna get a Starbucks drink and then we can go to the grocery store and get you snacks. You want buzz? Oh, good lord. Okay. Just make sure my emergency brake's on before you start rolling away. All right. Buzz has been located. So, I end up getting a blanket. I've been looking for a blanket, guys, for so long. I have a Christmas blanket already. I don't have one for Thanksgiving, and I have, obviously, the Halloween blanket that I that I love, the one with the ghosts on it. But I didn't really want to get, like, a Thanksgiving-themed blanket. And after Christmas, I don't have a really nice quality blanket for our couch. So, I saw this one and I was like, this is amazing, this is $20, and I can use it year round and on Thanksgiving as well. So I'll show it to you guys a little bit later. I also got, um, we're budgeting for Christmas, so we have like a an ongoing like rolling fund. So I know like every month that goes by, I have an additional X amount of dollars to put towards Christmas gifts. So if I see something in the stores now, I have the money sitting in our bank account allotted for it. So. I was just in there and I saw, um, you know, like La Crusoe, like that really fancy, um, like French brand of pots and pans. They're really nice. So I ended up getting the first gift of the year for somebody and I grabbed one of those. It was $20 and a really nice size like pan. So I was like, this is not supposed to be just $20. So I ended up getting it. I ended up getting a gift bag and a book because Willa and I are going on vacation together this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm going to vlog. It's just going to be a girl's trip. Willa and I, we're going to go to a baby shower like I mentioned before. And we're, Will's going to get all dressed up and I'm going to get all dressed up. And we're going to go visit one of my really good friends that I haven't seen in forever. She's having a baby. I'm so excited. So excited. And yeah, we're just going to go and see her and go party. And I have to drive two and a half hours alone. Ugh. We'll see. I'm excited. We're gonna travel together. Girls trip. So I am home and my blanket is so nice. I love it. 
It is so soft. It's the same material as like those Rocco blankets that I absolutely love that we have on our beds. If you see this blanket in Home Goods, get it. 20 bucks. Perfect. And it looks really cute on our couch. We put our groceries away. We ate some food. Then Cooper was getting rambunctious, so we decided that we would get out of the house and go to the park. Cooper needs to like run around. What happened? He wanted to jump over the crack. <laughs> we gotta jump over the cracks? Whoa! Hi guys, so it's the next day and we have a lot to do today because Will and I are officially leaving tomorrow to go on our little adventure. I need to start packing, I need to make sure that I have everything that she needs and that I need, but uh, we are gonna go for a walk in town, just Will and I, I'm gonna go grab a coffee and we're just gonna spend some time quality time together um but i wanted to show you my outfit really quickly because i'm starting to be able to actually like fit into my clothing so i figured i might as well show you what i'm wearing my jacket's from h&m my shirt's from hollister my spandex are my spandex are the ones that i got from um airy that are like the best spandex ever i'll link them for you guys below and then my shoes are from tj maxx but they're actually dr shoals they are the comfiest shoes ever. I love them. And Miss Willa has on her Patagonia jacket. She has on Zara pants, a Zara shirt, and little booties, right? Hi. You got booties, yeah. Do you want to go get Pirate's booty? You want? I know with Dodo. Dodo's at school. Yeah, you want to go see Dodo. Okay, how about we go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? With Dada, Dada and Dodo left. It's just mommy and you. So I just wanted to sit down quickly and talk to you guys about something that was, um, I mean, it's been brought to my attention a few times, which I've always thought was like interesting that people notice these things. But if you guys haven't noticed, Dan doesn't wear his wedding band. And the reason is not because he lost weight and it doesn't like fit anymore or anything like that. Um, and it's also not like work related either. The reason that Dan does not wear a wedding band is not like some big secret, like he doesn't want to be married or um, he doesn't like think our marriage is in any way important or anything like that. You guys, the fact that I even have to say this. <laughs> if you guys really wanna know why Dan does not wear his wedding band and why I have refused to address it until this moment is because when we moved from our old place to our new place, it was my responsibility to grab all of our like valuables and like our rings and stuff like that. Um, and like my necklace that I currently have on right now that Dan and the babies got for me. And I flipping lost them. <laughs> I lost them. I lost them. We couldn't find them. We lost them for the entire, what? June, July, August, September, October. Four months that we've been living in this place. Um, I've felt terrible that I lost my husband's wedding band like it was bugging him that he couldn't wear it And we were like well, we can get you know you a new wedding band But that just felt like really weird and just like I don't know uncomfortable when I went looking for my Nike duffel bag To start packing because as you guys know Will and I are going on a trip I look into the right side of the duffel bag and lo and behold there is my the Kalo ring that I have, like the white one that I wear during pregnancy when my rings don't fit me anymore. My necklace that I have been dying to wear and like have missed so much because it was a gift from my babies and my husband and like I just love it so much and it's an aquamarine. And Dan's rings were in there and I lost my mind. I felt so horrible and guys I cannot tell you when I found it I was like <gasps> Thank God, because it has such sentimental value. You know, it's just like, it's his wedding band. But anyway, I have a million loads of laundry to do. I was going to um, pack with you guys, but I think I'm gonna end the video here. And I think what I'll end up doing is the next vlog that you see will be Willa and I road tripping. It's gonna be fun. 
and I think when we're at the hotel, I'll unpack and I'll show you guys everything that I brought um, to go traveling with a baby. But yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we love you. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. When we're on a road trip. Bye.